Hey everyone and welcome to this week's top 5 camp builds. If you're new here and want to keep up to date with the best camps being built in Fallout 76 each week then make sure to click on that subscribe button straight away. And if you want to help this video out and if you enjoy it then make sure to click on that like button. This week we have 5 awesome camps as always. Three of them are just completely different and kind of nuts and then two of them are very law friendly and just beautiful to look at. I hope you enjoy and let's get straight into it. Forgot to mention too, if you enjoy any of the people involved, all the links to their channels are in the description, so if you want to go check them out, they're all down there. Thanks for watching. At number 5 this week we have Eli Hyatt with this absolutely beautiful looking cam. Now this is completely different, the last couple of weeks we have not had any kind of condensed kind of law friendly camps or at least off the top of my head we haven't but this one and the next one just shows them off absolutely fantastically now this one for me is brilliant if you've been watching me a while now you will know i've got a kind of like soft spot for camp builds that's all condensed down with loads of junk loads of scrap i just there's something about them which i really love this one is perfect in that regard there's so much stuff dumped all over. It's kind of realistic and you kind of think to yourself like this could be an actual like actual fallout settlement. Maybe not like a real location in game, but you could imagine this to be out there in the wasteland if it was like the real life thing. Up at number four, we have Ulfin. Now I hope I pronounced that right. If I haven't, I apologize. But this is the makeshift outpost. And this one, again, is a very law friendly, very wastelandy type of realistic vibe going on here. It's recorded really well. I like the little shots and scenes you did. Fantastic job for your first time and your first entry into the weekly cam showcase. It looks brilliant. I love this whole design around here as well, where you've got like a little shop thing going on. Great idea there. And the whole camp just looks fantastic. I love the whole design. I love the scrappy feel. I love the kind of random kind of structure type of thing like the random shape of it it's not like a square or anything like that it's just got walls all over the place it's got little seating areas all over it's got defense outposts all over the place and it's just so like proper wastelander vibe going on with it and it just looks brilliant so great job i love this little scene too where you zoom out like that, that looked really good so then up at number three coming up is Daka the Wanderer. Now this one was made by her partner Bloodfart and this one looks absolutely awesome. We're going to be moving into more kind of wacky crazy looking camps now and this is the start of them. I love this build. It's lit up really nicely. You've got a really great view overlooking Appalachia and I like the little ideas used in here. So it's got a nice little bar area here with a pool table. Very spacious around the pool table. A lot of the time you see pool tables in areas which they wouldn't really be able to play pool in. But this one is set up great. And the, like something else which I really liked about this camp was the use of tables as walls. I've been seeing this a lot more lately and it looks really cool. It's a lot like, I like how we've moved on kind of thing. Like a lot of camps now don't just have walls. They've got like steel posts as walls. They've got tables as walls. There's so many like unique ideas and stuff which are being used and they're so like innovative and they look awesome. We've also now got the countertops which came in with the Slocum Jaws and the Red Rocket which people use as walls. So much different ideas now and the builders are coming on so far. Lost my voice there. But this one is a really nice camp. Great job Bloodfart and fantastic recording. Daka, very nice job indeed. It's really nicely decorated as well, if I didn't mention that. The colours, the use of the furniture and stuff, it's all set out really nicely and it's just all around a very nice camp. Up at number two, again this week, we have Aqua Nova Players. Now, any other week, this probably would have been number one. Daka would have made number one any other week. It's it's a very tough week and number one is going to be nuts, so keep your eyes open. But this build in particular is absolutely crazy. The shape of it is so unique. Again, Aqua, I don't know how you come up with all these ideas. I don't know if you've got like a long list of ideas where you're just like, right, I'm going to make a shape like this. I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. Or if you just go, hmm, I'm going to go here today. And then all of a sudden these crazy builds just come out and they look crazy. The roofs look amazing inside as always it's light like lit up perfectly very nice light and got the orangey lit air uh, giving like the nice warm vibes to it and this is something which i really liked as well which i haven't seen anyone do if you look at your left there which is going to show you properly in just a moment aqua used conduits as shelves and i thought that was really a uh, unique idea and it just looked really really good 
But then who is at number one, you ask? Who is this person? Who could possibly beat these camps? That is Kazamati with this absolutely just outstanding build. Kazamati doesn't upload often, but when he does upload, it is always just mind-blowing camps and they are just crazy. This one is called the zoo and clearly looking at it you know why it's called the zoo. There's gorillas, there's sheep, there is bloody rabbits, there's all sorts going on. There's an owl and a death claw, there's all sorts. Yes I know the masks but still it gives off the, the kind of look of it and it looks really cool. The camp is just nuts. When you have a bit of a further look out you see it is absolutely huge as always with Kazumati's builds. They're not glitched though, the budgets aren't glitched as far as I'm aware before anyone uh, comments down below that I'm not 100% but I'm pretty sure he stays within the budget the majority of the time and this one is just nuts like I say it is crazy there's so many traps going on it's just nuts but if you notice anyone complaining about budgets because I know the last couple of weeks we've had a few people complaining this one if you actually pay attention I know someone will whinge but there's only about three different rooms Kazumati correct me if I'm wrong in the comments and I am wrong and you did glitch but I don't think you did there but this is an absolutely nuts build. I love it. I'm sure it for a long time because it is just crazy. And I think that's going to be something which I do in the future. For the future number ones, I think they'll get like a longer kind of showcase time. And yeah, there you go. It's huge as you can see there. But great job everyone this week. The camps were absolutely nuts as always. Thank you for getting involved everyone. If you didn't make it in, don't beat yourself up over it. These are some very nice camps. I'm sorry I didn't manage to get you in this week. But keep trying and I'm sure you will get in at some point. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, click on that like button. And if you possibly have a couple of friends which you think would enjoy these showcases, get the video sent to them and share it with them. If you want to get involved in a future week or something like that, all you got to do is have a video of your camp. Join the Discord, which the link will be in the description, and send me a link of your camp. If you don't have Discord, you point blankly refuse to use it. Email me it, that'll do, or tweet me a link to the video or something like that. All my links are down in the description. So just one of them will do, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyways, that is it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.